say goodbye to Hollywood as California keeps battering its residents with soaring costs, woke policies and the like. Tens of thousands of those residents have just fled to red states like Florida, for example, in search of a better, more affordable life. Leaving California and life after California, Facebook Group's founder, Terry Gilliam, joins us now. Terry, you moved from California down to Florida a couple years ago. What was the draw? How's it going for you? Well, Guy, I was born and raised in Florida, so I knew what I was going to get. And uh, I lived in California 35 years, was not happy with the way the politics were going, the cost of living. And so I started this Facebook, first Facebook group in 2018, and uh, obviously uh, life after California, and it exploded from there. So there's a lot of people that want to leave. Let me ask you uh, about the Golden Sunshine State, because not everybody is finding that the grass is greener um, on that side. About 700,000 people moved down in 2022, but some of them are also leaving because they're saying living there year round, it can be very, very hot and oppressive. And also there's the danger of hurricanes and storms. So some of them are trying to find greener pastures elsewhere. Well, Taylor, it, uh, certainly that can be the case, um, but you know, I was born and raised here before air conditioning, so coming back to where everything is air conditioned it was not a big deal for me. And they build houses to withstand hurricanes. Sure, if you live on the coast, you mm -hmm. might have some issues. Insurance costs have certainly gone up. But I'll take the freedom that we get in Florida over the nuttiness that you get in California any day. I want to talk about some of that freedom. Biden thinks that he can take Florida and turn it blue. Does that go along with what you see in here? Uh, no, I, I mean, look at the last election. Uh, DeSantis won by a landslide, and I think most of the people, by the way, most people leaving California right now are the ones who are unhappy with the way things are going. Most of them are conservative. So you're getting those people moving and making those states redder, not bluer. That's interesting. Yeah, and, and to your point, I mean, this was not a close election in 2022. The red wave didn't materialize around the country. It happened. It, it crashed on the state of Florida a major way, and obviously we'll see if that continues. <laughs> in 2024. Terry, thank you so much for your time.